Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do the review of uh, the Resurrection Remix ROM for Samsung Galaxy S3 uh, one of the most best ROMs that you can have with Android 5.1.1 Lollipop version if you want to you know, update your Galaxy S3 if you are a custom user then definitely it's a really good choice so um, let's just start from the lock screen so this is how it looks like, you can just unlock your device or you can go into dialer or camera um, everything works fine, every basic stuff like camera, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, um, network, everything works really fine, no problem whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to just show you if you go here into setting, about phone, and uh, you can see this is Android version 5.1.1, the latest version of the Android. And um, we have the, the Resurrection Remix version 5.1.1. You can see LMI 48B, the latest, um, the latest um, stock number there for the for the 5.1.1, and this is the Resurrection Remix 5.4.5. Uh, you can see that this is the latest version of this ROM. So we have the About Resurrection uh, option where you can uh, check out their forum, their website, and their Facebook and and Google Plus pages and other stuff. So, so yeah, this ROM basically is available for Galaxy Note 2, for Nexus 5, the S4, you know, a lot of phones. It is definitely uh, a really stable phone, a really good reputation of this um, community. Uh, this is available for a lot of devices. So, and you can see that I, I didn't flash the G apps, but, but anyways, all the stuff works really fine. This is how the, uh, the, this, this, Notification center looks like you can see the arrows, the the 5.1.1 um, update with these arrows. You don't have to go into the main settings to, you know, configure Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It works really fine. Um, let's go into main settings, and uh, you can see the font here, a little bit different. It comes with its um, own theme, which is second pitch black, dark red. If you don't want the system one, you can just apply it. And I mean, theme engine is definitely. Um, one of the best options of the features of CM12.1 so it'll take a couple of minutes a couple of seconds and you can see that it looks really awesome completely changed so you can see that right, uh, red icons with white text looks really awesome uh, so it has this uh, configuration option um, then status bar is really highly customizable ROM uh, we have this brightness control. You can increase the brightness like this. Really cool. Um, the notification count option, super user indicator. Um, let's see. Yeah, battery status style. You can have it dot, dot or uh, or text, whatever you like. Or you can also hide the battery percentage. Looks really awesome some network traffic option carrier label you can turn it on I don't have any sim card so it will say emergency calls only so let's move back to the notification uh, miscellaneous where you can have some fun with the animation and then also some gestures clear all button which is really nice if you have a lot of apps open you can have that clear all button which is not yet enabled which I'm gonna enable so, yeah, basically it is enabled. I don't think so, it is it's not showing. But it's enabled. Or maybe there will be another option for that. Let's go back to the uh, configuration. Let's check out the lock screen. You can have your own custom shortcuts. Have more quick shortcuts, and of course, you can have music visualizer. I'm gonna turn it off because this type of stuff just take more battery when you are listening to songs. Um, notification drawer, you can have your own tiles configured. Um, you can turn it off if you don't want to have weather. Um, then also custom color option. You can see, let's have it red. It's really nice clear all icon and then also let's have this to blue this one to okay I can't really change this one 
I can't really change these three options down below but you can see on the top now it's, it's like blue this is the color that I changed so really nice you can mess up with the colors uh, but yeah be careful to not make any stupid combination where you can't really see the icons um, then we have the buttons option where you can disable or enable these navbar buttons um, left handed mode really nice navbar dimension height you can have different heights uh, you know I really need these navbar buttons for my Galaxy S3 because you can see I did the drop test comparison of this S3, S4, S5, S6 video the link will be in the description you, you can see this it is really broken um, but I'm using it with a lot of care so also we have some volume button option you can have some custom uh, button with the volume button like holding down will do some other stuff like long press you can have recent app switcher or let's say voice search let's see oh basically it's it's the uh, is the menu button okay let's have some more option wake up device let's see if the double tap will going to sleep it or not yeah that works really fine let's see double tap to wake works or not no and probably there is a there will be an option let's see um, let's go back to the performance where you can uh, mess up with the with the processor or different profiles um, that is really nice if you do a lot of gaming you can have it on performance but of course you're you will have some poor battery life then also we have the display option wake up on plug double tap to sleep enable by default some normal Android options Let's move to the sound and notification. Battery light. That is really nice. You can have your own battery light. You can see the color changing. One of the best features of these custom ROMs. Then storage. Some normal options there. Battery. Um, I have almost 7.61 GB gigabyte uh, data available, space available. Um, it also comes with this um, this privacy guard. Uh, where you can enable to some app applications you can have some password on them and um, then also we have the um, the blacklist option where you can black uh, blacklist any number so that they can't contact you if someone is you know messing up with you so um, if you tap on the bill number a couple of times it will enable the developer option so overall it's a really smooth really stable ROM that's gonna show you the camera take pictures can also quickly edit these pictures you know it works really fine so yeah resurrection remix rom if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section down below really nice for the galaxy s3 i9300 hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you next one peace out